Welcome back to Variant Cron. Well, let's take a few minutes to talk about where we've been and where we're going. Well, it's been one year yesterday since we, since I first put up my video on Variant Cron channel. Since that time, I just thought it would be good to mark the occasion of the anniversary of that first video and to do a number of things. First of all, just say thank you to all of you who have watched this channel and have subscribed and liked the videos and participated in the comments and so forth. We are now um, approaching half a million views on the channel, uh, 400, almost 475,000 views, have uh, 20,300 some uh, subscribers. I want to just you know, reflect. I started off the channel with a video about some missing words in a Quran manuscript from the Sana, uh, from the ones that were discovered at the in Sana, Yemen, in the 1970s, and I highlighted something that I found many years ago in that manuscript, which um, which surprised me, and that was some missing words down at the bottom of the manuscript uh, page, which had elsewhere been corrected in several spots. I found that to be very interesting, and that remains the uh, most viewed video on the channel, that very first video. So uh, that sort of kicked things off, and I did uh, several other videos on Quran manuscripts, and I plan to do many, many more, but I do intend to make that a stronger focus. I know that many of you are interested in that uh, very heavily and strongly, so rest assured it will be coming. Life is getting busier for me, but I do know that that's one of my main priorities. Other things that we've done throughout the year, in addition to it, several other uh, videos dealing with manuscripts, either in facsimile or from photographs that I've taken of manuscripts myself, is to answer the questions that you all have left in the comment section of the videos, and secondly, to do some interviews. We had three interviews, actually, two of them with uh, Asma Hilali and one of them with Ibn Warak. We had conversations about doing a video with Shadi Nasser, and that is still in the works. I've had uh, private conversations with him throughout the year and, and so forth. We're still discussing when it will be good to have him on for a conversation on the channel, uh, on video, on that. Uh, but he's a wonderful guy and has done a very good scholarship that is useful to all of us. Beyond that, I've done um, a number of things. Uh, we we saw the a couple of things happen during the year. First of all, we had some uh, out of the blue criticism of me by Yasser Qadi, and that was sometime uh, late last summer, as I recall, and I responded to that and had some interaction with him on that, which we uh, reviewed and, and discussed. And um, I posted a response after a, a fair amount of time to the review that Haitham Sidki had published in a journal out of University of Chicago. And so that remains up at academia.edu. And you can see that linked at the bottom of that video where I respond to him or where I announce my response to his uh, review of my book. The other thing that happened in earlier this year at the beginning of 2021 was the uh, release of this book, which was a refutation of my, um, of my book corrections in early Quran manuscripts. And that was uh, by Tyar Altikulich. It was remarkable to me that somebody would, uh, of his uh, stature would take the time and effort and that the publisher would actually carry forward and, and produce a book of this, of this quality, an entire book dedicated to the refutation of my small a book, which I published, uh, well, almost exactly two years ago in 2019. So that to say, it's uh, evident that my book and my, uh, my work, such as I have published so far, continues to be um, having uh, an impact and causing discussion among people, which is great. All, all of us want our work to become the topic of discussion, hopefully good discussion. Of course, criticism is what drives knowledge forward. And so uh, we welcome criticism and, and, and uh, critical thinking about all of these things. So not all of the critiques have been really what I would uh, consider to be critical thinking uh, in, in the highest sense of the term, but um, it's okay. People can come and take whatever approach they um, they want at the level where they happen happen to be, and then we'll we'll deal with those that are uh, seem to be serious, needing serious engagement as time goes on. The other thing that we did over the course of this year was um, to see the completion 
of a translation of my book into German. And so I announced that recently as well. This is the German translation of uh, Corrections in Early Quran Manuscripts. And that is available at Amazon.com in the United States, as well as in Germany and in other countries. So uh, both in color and black and white editions. I may, moving forward, just publish in the uh, color edition. It's more expensive to do it, so I have tried to make the black and white editions available for those who just to make the book as accessible as possible to anybody who wants to read it. But truly, the color edition is much better for anyone who can afford it. So that's that's where we are. The I mentioned to some uh, folks on the Patreon site about a week and a half ago that I have so a, a team of people ready to make a translation into uh, another language. And I'm happy to report that that project has been uh, funded by some generous donors to uh, move that forward. So I've approved the advance of that project. And also there is uh, another language that is being considered right now where I have, I believe, the translator to do it. So I do not yet have the funds raised to do that one. If any of you are interested in supporting a translation of this book or any other particular project that I'm working on, please feel free to do so. Um, with the translation projects, if you are contributing uh, substantially to the translation, I will be very happy to put your name in the front of the book as uh, the one, as a donor who made it, who helped make it possible once the translation is done. So, Thank you very much for that um, help with it. It is great to have the moral support and also the financial support to help move these things forward. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing uh, going into too much more today, but I do want to look forward a little bit. And uh, as I mentioned in the video, uh, I believe the last video I put up, I do have uh, two further videos recorded and uh, I'm just getting them edited and, and back up. One of them is a Q&A and the other is a tour of this library. So look for the library tour video to come up sometime soon. I just keep uh, keep refining that a little bit. But, uh, but looking forward, as you know, I'm be teaching a course on introduction to the Quran at Veritas International University beginning in about a week and a half. So uh, that is a seminary course. So obviously the, the um, admission for that is, is limited in some ways. But if you're interested, please do sign up for that. It's, there's, I, as I understand it, it's not too late to sign up either to take it for your personal enrichment or to take it for credit. So I will be spending more time. And one of the reasons I haven't been putting up videos that much is that I've been spending time in preparation for teaching and also working on some other pressing projects, as I always seem to be doing. But uh, just to let you know, that's what is going on with that. So for the rest of the summer, I'm going to try to get some more videos up for you. But really, just because there's not that much activity on YouTube does not mean there's not that much activity in, in my life and in my productivity. So uh, I'm excited about some of the projects on the horizon. So, so what I'm hoping to do in the coming year is to do more videos on manuscripts. I'm working on actually several different book publications. And uh, it's hard when you're doing multiple projects at once because none, all of them seem to be moving forward, but none of them seem to be getting completed. So um, I hope to get one or two books completed by this year and published. There's an edition that is that I'm preparing for Brill, and that is not one of the two that I just mentioned to, to be uh, to be published. So that's a third project that is uh, ongoing. So there's a lot of stuff. And then preparing for a conference, I have a paper that's going to be presented uh, in this fall at a conference as well. So those things are all kind of happening. And this is just part of life as we move on. But um, I see conversation going on. I, other people are putting out uh, videos uh, discussing these things. I've been invited actually onto um, at least uh, well, a couple of other channels to do some some uh, interview videos. And so I do weigh those things, trying to keep my uh, engagement mostly academic, but uh, but obviously uh, I'm happy to have conversations with uh, selected people at different times around these things and these topics. So uh, it is mid-June here in Northern Virginia. We have uh, the cicadas are out uh, singing, I suppose, in the trees. It's quite a remarkable sound all around us. I think we're approaching the end of the cicada season, but it's been quite interesting to have them come out of the ground and to be flying around everywhere and to see them. I actually really do 
enjoy the study of insects. In fact, hold on a second. My uh, undergraduate degree in molecular biology involved also the study of entomology a little bit. Here is my one of my projects of uh, thinning of insects that I prepared around that time. I've uh, collected and classified and, uh, and pinned insects over the years, not only in that box, but, uh, but also I uh, have kept um, some insects in uh, over a long period of time. I uh, even, even had, had some as pets for a little while. So uh, another unrelated, but uh, maybe interesting thing. You know, the thing about science is that science, a good scientist is somebody who just has a fascination for the world and a fascination for truth. And I'm not saying that I'm a good scientist, but I do aspire to be of that mindset and to um, continue moving forward in the pursuit of knowledge and per going wherever it leads and just being curious about all kinds of different things. So um, I do have a broad range of interests, but among those is the, is the topic of this channel. And so I try to keep myself going in that direction as well. Well, that's enough of sort of random thoughts for today, but I just want to say uh, one year down uh, in the in the can, so to speak, for the production of these videos. I hope that the production continues and that you continue to find them interesting and helpful. We'll see what happens in the coming year. Hopefully this time, June of 2022, we'll be having another video like this with even more subscribers, even more views and a lot of good and interesting material being up on this channel in the time intervening. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and for your subscription. And to those of you who have given financially, I do really very much appreciate you and I think about you all the time. Well, take care. Until next time, this is Dan Brubaker. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.